Hi folks, Mr. Tesalonian back here again. I want to start you from beginning to end here uh, of a generator that I built a couple years ago. I'm now able to show you, and where you take this is all up to you, but I'll show you a final production motor. This right here is just how I started with this design. And what it is is the internal workings of a grandfather clock. Uh, it uses a solid mass object. You hook it onto one of these chains, and it spins all the little minute, second, and hour hands inside of the clock. Now if you look in the back, which I'll show you up close, there is a gear in there that's just humming. A lot of RPMs and plenty enough to generate electricity. Uh, this little unit here is not going to show you really what this system's capable because it's so small. What this could be used for, and one of the designs I first originally built, was a little standing lamp, very similar to this, that ran on an old grandfather clock system, a little burlier than this one, and actually lit up the lamp every time you reset the pine cone, so you didn't need a plug-in in the wall to have a lamp. Now we've gone to liquid mass generators now instead of solid mass, so the liquid mass can be transferred from one cylinder to the other to rewind itself. I also have uh, human rewind systems for back uh, woods camping. They use a five gallon jug, it's collapsible, the whole little unit can hang from a tree branch, you fill the jug full of water, and just like this system, you pull the jug to the top and it generates power for a little camping lantern. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and hook this pine cone up and while I finish the rest of this. And as you'll notice, that pine cone is starting to fall. One thing I've done is disable the little catches that were in there to give it time. Uh, that little back and forth, you, do, you notice there's no pendulum swinging. Uh, that'll give us what we need of the RPMs inside of here at the larger gear. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead, take that camera up close, and show you what's going on inside of this. But this is basically the beginning of what I started with to show that you could use mass, a transferable mass, to generate electricity. Uh Alright folks, so here's a look down into the gearbox of this grandfather clock. And what I want to show you here is the RPMs, that upper gear that you see there is rotating at. Those RPMs are just basically at the bottom range of what's necessary to turn a permanent magnet generator with any kind of output. Now this system here would turn a very, very small neodymium magnet with a very tiny coil, possibly lighting up an LED. But what you have here is a demonstration of something that could be used to generate electricity like what we've done in the shop out of just the force of gravity working upon a mass object. And what we've done differently here if, uh, than what you see in this grandfather clock is instead of a using a solid mass object like this, we've used a transferable mass object which is liquid. So we're actually transferring the mass from one cylinder to the other. Each one of the tanks on our much larger system we are hold 350 gallons worth of liquid. And we don't use water, we use something else, uh, but we actually transfer that liquid from one cylinder to another. And you have, just like this, you'd have your one cylinder right now pulling down, it holds that water, you have a transfer pump running from a hose from this one to what would be hanging basically on this side. And this is your return to that one. And so what we've done is at the bottom of the cycle of your first cycle, all the way down, we have a pressure switch at the bottom of the system. When that cylinder hits the pressure switch, the large jug of water hits it, it turns on the transfer pump, takes the liquid mass from this object and transfers it to the other side, which is the reverse drive system. And that engages our, our reverse drive mechanism and starts powering the generator again. Uh, it takes about 27 hours right now to complete a full cycle on the generator. It's 25 feet in height. And like I said, it holds 350 gallons worth of a uh, transferable liquid. And we don't use water or anything light. We have actually a special liquid that we've designed uh, rich in minerals, basically. A heavy mineral water that gives us a little bit more mass for the same amount of liquid volume. And you can see here, it's going to come down to the end of its stroke. Uh, so what we've done, basically, is taken our, our large home generator, the 25-footer I'm talking about, the large water jugs, and now made an at-home system that doesn't need anything more than for you to park your car on it. We've gained a system here that is one foot in height off the, your parking pad that you would normally use. It's big enough to park a large SUV on. It's a big steel ramp, and it allows you to pull up onto it. It gives you six hours worth of power production at 1,000 watts an hour if your car weighs more than 4,000 pounds. Under 4,000, you get about 500 watts an hour out of it for six hours. Uh, so we've been able to transfer mass energy, a weight, through gravity into mechanical motion, which then can be converted into electrical energy. And this is just the simplest way that I could show you 
with uh, something already pre-built, something you get your hands on and begin your experimentation with is a grandfather clocks mechanism. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time when I show you our larger 25-foot version, uh, this was Mr. Tesslonian, the Tesslonian Man Show.